Charges of assault and misconduct in office against a law enforcement officer. This is the video shot August 1st of a naked woman violently lashing out at security officers and they fought back. Well, tonight, the Detroit police officer you see viciously punching the woman is the one who's facing felony charges. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live at Detroit police headquarters tonight with uh, what we know. Rod. Well, here's what we know. It's taken four months to get from investigation to charges. And at the time, this was uh, uh, caused a real ripple across the city of Detroit with local community groups really questioning Detroit Police Department use of force. Well, tonight they have the charges they were looking for. The video is nothing short of cringeworthy, and Chief James Craig wasn't happy when it happened. Very disturbing video. The video doesn't show you everything you need to know. It's in the Detroit Receiving Hospital lobby. It's a woman we've blurred out here. She's having a mental breakdown, biting the police officer on the arm and thigh, spitting at him and security officers from the hospital, spewing profanity all the while. 18-year decorated Detroit police veteran Dwayne Jones proceeds to beat the woman with repeated blows to the face and chest. The chief, James Craig, was most concerned about. What stands out for me is the suspect's back is to the officer and he's continued to deploy strikes. So now Officer Jones, this is his mugshot, is facing up to five years in prison after prosecutor Kim Worthy charged him with misconduct in office along with misdemeanor assault and battery. It leads to questions about the Detroit Police Department's use of force policy. Detroit Police Union President Mark Diaz believes the prosecutor is overreached in this case. You know, a person can definitely be maimed by someone biting onto them. So the officer did what he felt at that time was appropriate to get that individual from biting onto others. So felony charges? Absolutely not. That doesn't set well with me at all. And so let's be clear that the officer is innocent until proven guilty. He has a Detroit Police Officers Association attorney representing him in court. They were in court today, had a probable cause here, and the arraignment happened back on the 27th of November, and the judge gave the corporal a $5,000 bond. Back to you. So, Rod, I'm wondering, is the department saying anything about this case tonight? Well, you know, the police department felt that the chief had said pretty much what he was thinking back in August, and so therefore they haven't updated anything. We do know that the officer remains suspended. He is off duty. Yeah, okay, Ryan.